It's finally here guys. The Good and the Beautiful just released their math level seven and today I'm gonna show it to you in detail. Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey. There aren't that many videos on middle schooling, homeschooling, so I want to try and provide you with as much as I can with that, with my son will cooperate. <laughs> but in today's video, I'm going to share with you the, the level seven math from the good and the beautiful i just received it in the mail i haven't even opened it yet but i'm super excited i want to thank the good and the beautiful for sending this to me before i begin if you are new to the good and the beautiful or this is like your first time hearing about them they have a variety of subjects from math language arts to history science nature studies uh, handwriting cursive writing they also have games and books and a whole bunch of neat things so check them out at the good and the beautiful Dot com. They strive to give us homeschoolers affordable curriculum and they even have free downloads that has very strong academics but also teaches them good and beautiful moral concepts, beautiful literature. They have such fun activities in all of their curriculum so it makes learning fun and enjoyable for the students. And it works to bring them closer to us, their family, and also to God. So I really love the good and the beautiful and so let me just show you their math now. Ooh, there's a lot here. Oh, I'm excited about this. I don't know if my son would be excited to see all the books that there are here, but <laughs> I know that I am. Okay, let's get into this one by one. So what you're gonna be getting when you order the Good and the Beautiful level seven, we start with this Good and the Beautiful math scratch pad. So it's basically just grid paper like this throughout the whole thing where the kids can show their math work and do their math problems on here. Then it looks like we have four units this time. So we have units one, two, three, and four, and an answer, guide, and solution to everything. So we're gonna put this aside for now. Uh, we're gonna take a closer look at what the kids are gonna be learning in each unit. It's also laid out differently, whereas the old math books look like this. Level six is horizontal, and it goes this way, and it has two books. And then you'll see level seven is vertical, looks a little bit more mature, and it's got four books, but it's, thinner. You can see the difference there. I do want you to focus on the illustration and the variety of problems that they have and the games and the activities that they have. So it looks like in unit one, I'm going to just skip through some of the things they're going to be learning. They're going to be learning about decimals, multi-digit division, adding and subtracting and dividing and multiplying integers. They're going to be doing complex fractions adding and subtracting fractions and decimals. They're gonna be doing positive and negative exponents. They're gonna be doing lessons on logic, properties of real numbers, expanded notation with exponents, scientific notation, order of operations, simplifying and evaluating expressions, and then writing expressions and equations and solving one-step equations. Then there's a review and an assessment. So let's look inside and see what it looks like. It tells you about any supplies that are going to be needed, the course overview, how to get started, lesson details. This QR code is for them that you're gonna see is for them to access the video because every lesson has a video lesson at first, which makes it a lot easier because you don't have to do the teaching. If they don't wanna watch the video, the, vid the lesson is also written inside the book. Each, there's 120 lessons. So you guys can do a four, Lesson school week, which is what we do because we have co-op on, on the fifth day. Each lesson takes 50 to 60 minute, minutes, including the videos. And then there's different um, questions, common questions here that you guys will, can get the answers to. It's also important to know that it's a spiral course, so it's constantly reviewing concepts. And I, that's one thing, that I, that's why we switched over to the Good and the Beautiful from Beast Academy. If you want to see that video, I'll link it in the card above. This is, this is deeper lesson topics for each unit is in here. Okay, and then it has the concepts covered in the front of every unit. And then this is what your lesson is going to look like. So I'm gonna take you in a little deeper. For lesson one, they have a warm up, which is things that they already learned in the previous lessons. Then they're going to, I'm sorry guys, I had to switch cameras, both of my batteries are dead. So I'm on my phone now, but after that, they're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code that was in the front. Then they're gonna complete the problems when instructed during the video. These are the video notes that they're gonna fill in as they're watching it, which is great because they're learning to take notes as well. This is gonna be the lesson overview in case they didn't understand the video or if they don't have access to the video that day, 
This is basically the lesson here. They're gonna have a lesson overview always. Oh, and it also tells you here they're gonna need colored pencils for this assignment. Okay, so here's more of the lesson overview. Then down here, you're gonna get some practice. And then there's more practice on the next page. What I like about the good and the beautiful is that the practice is not overkill. It's just enough for the kids to understand. And what I also love is that each lesson has a review section in the back that is things that they already learned. For example, these are math facts reviews, but it's an interesting way for them to review their math facts. And if you wanna just, we'll just skim through it here really quickly. You can see that the book was made to appeal to a little bit of the mature, maturer kids, the more mature kids, I should say. It's still, they still have cute little drawings, but it's not as colorful as grade six. If you see grade six here, it has a lot more cartoons. And I think as the kids get older, they may want a little less of that. I think they don't want it taken away completely, but I think it's a good balance in this book. Okay, so let's see what they're gonna be learning in the second unit. Okay, they're gonna be learning notation, square roots, cube roots, solving equations, variables, graphing, fractions, ratio proportions, percentages, logic, unit rates, metric, customary units, compound interest, things like that. And every book is laid out the same way. They're going to be doing scale drawings, proportions, more different types of graphing, slopes of lines, triangles, transformations, angles and triangles, polygon, diagonals and angles, parallel lines, perimeter, Pythagorean the theorem, circumference of circles. They are going to be learning surface areas of prisms, pyramids, cylinders, cones, spheres, and composite solids. I don't even know what any of that stuff is. I really hope that um, I can remember it. <laughs> Isn't it funny how as homeschoolers, you, for you don't realize how much you forget and then you're like relearning it with the kids. You have polynomials. I do remember polynomials. You have um, central tendency, scatter plots, graphs. I used to hate graphs and scatter plots, um, events and probability and stuff like that. Let's just flip through this. I'll tell you what, when I was a kid, I hated math. It was so frustrating to me. But had I had math like this, I think it would have been a lot more enjoyable, easier to understand. Of course, I did go to a public school. You didn't get it, you just didn't get it. I used to have to go home and re try to reteach myself everything, and it was very frustrating. I did well, but it was a lot of stress. I wish I was homeschooled. <laughs> there we go. Now let's look at the answer book. Basically, in the answer guide, you just open it up to the unit and the lesson. It gives you the warm up answers, practice answers, and all of your review answers. And I like that it's a lot bigger because the other answer book for the other maths are so tiny. And as I'm getting older, I cannot see tiny little things wearing my contacts. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you for making this bigger. So there you have it. The Good and the Beautiful Math 7 is out. And guess what, guys? It's even out for free download. So if you don't want to purchase the hard copies, me personally, I need the hard copies. But if you're one of those people who like to download things and get it for free, it is on there for free. So go ahead and check them out at thegoodandthebeautiful.com. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.